Helping you live healthy, last hour we explained younger people are developing shingles. But for people 50 and older, there's a way to reduce your risk of developing this painful condition by more than 90%. Get the vaccination. One problem right now, it is in short supply in some places. Melanie, you spoke with a doctor who said that you can increase your odds of getting it? Getting the vaccine, yeah, for sure. So right now there is a shortage for the two-dose vaccine approved just this year to prevent shingles. Consumer Reports tackled the short supply last month. It found that it really depends on where you live and the shortage varies around the country. But we talked with a doctor from Orange Park Medical Center who said there is a way to get more access to this vaccine. This is actually a major breakthrough in medicine this year. When you think about it, this is one way a patient can eliminate having shingles. Dr. Dolvin speaks with great confidence about the shingles vaccine, Shingrix. He knows what these lesions that attack the nerves can do. These are pictures of my colleague, anchor and reporter Scott Johnson. He had excruciating pain and a large rash, but it could have been worse. It's just not the blisters or the rash, it's the pain. It's the neuropathy, and some people have problems with their eyes, and sometimes people have problems with their ears after having shingles. The vaccine Shingrix is 90% effective at preventing shingles. The unprecedented demand came after the CDC designated it as the preferred shingles vaccine. The CDC recommends two doses two to six months apart for adults age 50 and over. Getting the second dose within the recommended window has been impossible for people. Dr. Dolvin says if you are having trouble finding the second dose, don't fret. It's recommended to get the vaccine as soon as you can. The CDC says go ahead and give it to them even if it's outside the six-month window, and this should work just as good. All right, so there is one way to make sure that the vaccine is near you. I was reading some other stories, and they talked about how, like, in New Orleans right now, they're having a shortage. But you can simply put in shingrits.com, and that'll be able to give you an idea about where the vaccine is and if you have access to it. You're going to hit the vaccine locator, and then you can type in any zip code that you're interested in searching. And the radius 15, so we've already searched this. And once you do so, you can see right now there is not a problem here in town. It gives you 123 different locations where the vaccine is located. What you might find, though, is when you call, you definitely want to call and make sure that it really is there because in some cases it may not. And also make sure that you get on a cycle with your pharmacist. So when you get that first vaccine, they will call you or at least put you on the waiting list saying that you do need that second dose anywhere between two and six months.